very good evening myself uh, harish fadtare uh, i welcome you all in this uh, lecture in which we will learn uh, or we will solve numerical on cogeneration in uh, thermal power plant uh, first of all we will uh, see how is the problem we will read first the problem carefully in cogeneration steam power plant as shown in uh, figure the cogeneration power plant is there in which in which uh, we have uh, the boiler generates steam at a 50 bar and 400 degree centigrade temperature which is supplied to the turbine for expansion and at a 5 bar steam is extracted from turbine for process heating and remaining continues to expand up to a condenser pressure of 0.05 bar so three pressure comes into picture 50 bar 5 bar and 0.05 bar the mass flow rate of the steam from the boiler is a 15 kg per second and if the amount of steam extracted for process heating is a 5 kg per second which is condensed at 5 bar from the heater we have to find out different things so different things we have to find out is the power output of the turbine in kilowatt that is uh, we have to find out turbine work you may say the second thing that uh, we have to find out is process heat energy utilized in kilowatt it means that we have to find out uh, process heat qp then third thing that we have to determine is the thermal efficiency of the cogeneration power plant it means that plant efficiency that we can find out and final we have to find out effectiveness that is epsilon u we have to find out and we can neglect the pump work in this case so uh, how the diagram of the cogeneration steam power plant is given that i am just trying to draw uh, in a rough fashion in rough fashion i am trying to draw so this is the turbine right and uh, this is condenser this is condenser this is turbine this is condenser this is boiler and uh, this is a uh, first pump which is pumping the fluid this is pump 1 which is pumping fluid to the boiler so now in between this uh, we are putting process heater there so i am drawing that process heater here with the help of different colored pen this is process heater and the, this process heater is extracting certain amount of steam uh, from this turbine and then we are feeding it back with the help of another feed pump to this uh, uh, main line of the uh, cycle so with this i have now uh, i'm just locating the direction of the flow of the working fluid the working fluid is flowing in this fashion all the way this is the working fluid and uh, there is no uh, uh, any kind of uh, prv wall is there so there is no prv wall so it is not necessary actually to draw the prv wall which is not there and uh, this is the pump 1 this is pump 1 and uh, this one is the pump 2 pump 2 which which is handling these uh, process heater condenser this pump one is handling the condenser condenser and this is the turbine and uh, this is the turbine output shaft uh, which is gives which gives us a shaft work so uh, as the different given things uh, i am just putting the different thermodynamic state points this is the state point 1 this is the state point 2 now the third state point i am just locating here means when the pump uh, condensate uh, of both the pump are mixing i am putting the point 3 and this is point after boiler i am putting point 4 and uh, here i am putting point 5 which is not existed 
uh, in this figure. Uh, so then also I am putting point six there. The here is point six. Here is point seven after turbine, and here I have point seven, and this is the condenser. So and uh, remaining point is this point eight after process heating after me uh, getting fluid uh, from the process heater, and this point is point nine. So these are the different points just I have located there. So with this, with this. i can show uh, the same uh, flow diagram on this ts diagram so i am just drawing ts diagram here this is the ts diagram this is the dome region again now how i can draw the uh, ts diagram for the cogeneration see this again i i have the reference point again i am taking 1 to 2 this is the feed pump 1 1 to 2 then i have the constant pressure heat addition in the boiler and this is the expansion in the turbine but see how is the expansion expansion is in two stages first there is expansion is up to this point that you may say 6 point this is 2 to 4 is the constant pressure heat addition 2 to 4 constant pressure heat addition and then there is expansion 4 to 6 and 6 to 7 see now i am just explaining this ts diagram uh, to you now see 1 to 2 this is the pumping operation 2 to 4 2 and directly jumping to the point 4 uh, constant pressure heat addition in boiler uh, the whatever may be the fluid uh, whatever may be the amount of uh, working fluid which is of flowing uh, at the, the distinct places 2 to 4 4 to 4 to 6 this is 4 to 6 right and uh, then there is a bleeding of the or extraction of the steam uh, is there Now you may say over here I am just locating the point six, and this is point seven. So this is the condenser operation, and uh, just bleeding after bleeding. This is the bleeding of the steam, and then pump two uh, again will feed it back to the uh, main line as such. So this is a six point. This is a seven point. this is the condenser and this is the process heater and this is the boiler so the different pressure values uh, we have this is the uh, p4 pressure that is the maximum pressure in the cycle which is 50 bar which is given in the problem this is p6 which is given in the problem that is a 5 bar and this is p7 which is 0.05 bar so these three pressure values this is maximum pressure in the cycle this is intermediate pressure and this is the minimum pressure in the cycle so uh, now the next thing is uh, the amount of mass flow rate at the distinct places here we know that is 50 kg per second fluid is flowing in the first stage here is the extraction of 5 kg per second and remaining uh, through this line only uh 10 kg per second mass flow rate is there 10 kg per second mass flow rate is there now further thing is uh very important that is this point is 6 this point is 7 this point is 8 and this point is 9 now here two flows gets mixed and uh the a uh, fluid a uh, working fluid we are supplying to the boiler which is having enthalpy which is in between these two points 2 and 9 so this point is a 3 3 point is the very important point as far as uh, uh, in order to have uh, the solution of this cogeneration problem so 3 point lies in between this point 2 and 9 because see whatever the condensate i am getting it is having Uh, lower enthalpy and whatever the condensate i am getting from the process heater it is having higher enthalpy when uh, and when i am doing uh, energy balance of this uh, these two uh, mixture uh, mixture when i am doing the energy balance this h3 value is uh, lesser than h9 and greater than h2 so i am just locating this point in between these uh, two point as such so these three pressure values these distinct uh, mass flow rates uh, i have shown and these thermodynamic state points i have shown there in the diagram now same 
this TS diagram same cogeneration I am representing on HS diagram that is Molier chart also. So this is this is HS diagram. So when I am considering HS diagram, uh, in case of HS diagram, the dome region is somewhat like this, and uh, the three different pressure values: the maximum pressure, minimum pressure, and intermediate pressure. And now I am drawing this uh, expansion expansion line. This is again HS diagram. On HS diagram also, I will find vertical line uh, same as like this this is a four point thermodynamic state point six and this is seven so here mass flow rate is a 15 kg per second here extraction is there and here mass flow rate is a 10 kg per second as usual and uh, the further very important thing is here enthalpy is h4 here enthalpy is h6 here enthalpy is h7 so directly from the molier chart i can note down this value h four h6 and h7 there is no any kind of uh, issue in this so this i have this i have is the molier chart this i have molier this i have a molier chart now with this uh, we can solve uh, with this data we can solve further thing first of all we will write given data uh, of this problem given data first of all I am just trying to write given data that is very important first I have a value of P4 P4 is 50 bar P4 is a 50 bar and uh, P soup P soup is 400 degrees centigrade so P6 P6 is 5 bar this is intermediate pressure this is maximum pressure intermediate pressure and p7 this minimum pressure in the cycle that is condenser pressure that is 0.05 bar so from molier chart from molier chart we can find out very important thing is h4 h6 and h7 so h4 is 3200 kilojoule per kg we have h6 2675 kilojoule per kg and this is 2315 kilojoule per see these values we can directly uh, obtain on uh, ordinate ordinate on ordinate of HS diagram ordinate on HS diagram now from from steam table from steam table what we can find out at 0.05 bar I have HF1 is equal to H1 is equal to 137.8 kilojoule per kg and at 5 bar from steam table itself I will get H8 is equal to 640.1 kilojoule per kg with this I can uh, find out distinct parameters which we require that is first one is the W W is equal to turbine power how I can find out turbine power turbine power is equal to total mass flow rate that is M uh, you may say M1 dot H4 minus H6 that is enthalpy difference across the turbine uh, plus M1 dot minus 5 that is extracted steam we have to uh, subtract from the main uh, mass flow rate of the steam and the H6 minus H7 is the enthalpy difference uh, after extraction which is equal to 15 mass flow rate that is a 3200 minus 2675 plus 10 2675 minus 2315 so initially what we did here we are finding out h4 h6 h7 with the help of molier diagram 
these three distinct enthalpy values and with the help of steam table whatever the value of h1 and h8 we are finding out so intention our intention to get the different parameters that is the turbine power process heat how much uh, is required or finding out thermal efficiency all uh, will require distinct uh, enthalpy values so the turbine power is equal to 11475 kilowatt then second parameter that we can find out that is qp that is process heat so process heat is again 5 h6 minus h8 because 5 is the steam extracted for process heating which is equal to 5 enthalpy difference is 2675 minus 640.1 so this is 101741074.5 kilowatt then next is the third one thermal efficiency so in order to get thermal efficiency we have to do energy balance so how i can do energy balance i can do energy balance like this that is two streams are mixing two streams are mixing where two streams are mixing see again i am telling you this is the first stream that is the condensate coming from the process heater and the condensate coming from this pump one that is from condenser they are mixing together means h9 into the mass flow rate of this condenser plus h2 into the mass flow rate of this condensate is equal to the total mass flow rate after mixing into that enthalpy this is the energy balance so i have 15 into h3 is equal to 10 into h1 10 into h1 h1 is equal to h2 that is uh, we can uh, neglect h1 is equal to h2 we can consider plus plus here we can consider h9 is equal to h8 because we are neglecting the pump work as uh, as uh, the problem is given so h this is 5 into h8 so we are neglecting the pump work neglecting pump work so further i can find out unknown value of h3 with this so the value of h3 is 1 by 15 into 10 into 137.8 plus 5 into 640.1 which is equal to 305.23 kilojoule per kg so with this i can find out heat added inside the boiler is a 15 into h4 minus h3 which is equal to which is equal to 153200 minus 305.23 which is equal to 43421.5 kilowatt or kilojoule per second or kilowatt so efficiency with this i can write efficiency of the thermal power plant is equal to w divided by q in is equal to 11.7.4.11.4.7.5 divided by 43.421.5 is equal to 26.43%. So this is the third answer that is the thermal efficiency. Now the next very important thing that uh, uh, is uh, that we have to find out is the uh, is the uh, effectiveness of the cogeneration power plant this one is the fourth one fourth one that is effectiveness which is remaining only effectiveness that is epsilon u so epsilon u is equal to w plus qp divided by qi which is equal to 
फोर सेवन फाइव प्लस वन जीरो वन सेवन फोर पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फोर थ्री फोर टू वन पॉइंट फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट एटी सिक्स परसेंट सो दिस इज द ऑल द थिंग्स दैट वी आर नीडेड इन दिस प्रॉब्लम दैट इज टर्बाइन पावर प्रोसेस हीट थर्मल एफिशियंसी एंड फाइनली वी हैव दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर दैट इज इफेक्टिवनेस एज सच सो अगेन इफ यू विल फाइंड एनी प्रॉब्लम इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस यू कैन आस्क मी ऑन and uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, please feel free to ask if you have any queries if you encountered uh, when uh, uh, in any portion of this video uh, you can contact thank you very much